So here we are again. Uh, these guys have been remounted, and actually, they're actually because it's very soft rubber. It's easy to remount them. You just simply line up the hole with the little rubber knob, and you push one behind it, and it just pops right in. So it's actually a lot easier to mount these and unmount them than there is on a Juno 106. But uh, by the same token, they're much more inclined to rip and tear uh, over the years, so you got to be more careful with them. Okay, that, that said, uh, th this has been flipped over, this key bed, which has been cleaned, and I've taken the 16, there are 16 of them, plastic clips, and I have put them back in place. And just a note to you, um, I have got this information back by looking at the original teardown video. Um, bracket number one, bracket number two, and then bracket number three. So between bracket number two and three, basically the See, there's brackets on the outside here. Here's the two middle brackets. Uh, basically, I don't know, this is the way Korg did it uh, on the assembly. Is they they skip this one on this side on the left hand side, and they skip this one on the left hand side. Um, otherwise, you would need 18 of these, but there's only 16 in the kit. So there we go. And I'm just going to flip this over now, upside down. Drop these through the holes that you see there. Uh, have the clips grip the edge of the circuit board here. And then we'll be remounting all of the brass machine screws that hold this board down. And then uh, this key bed will be ready for the keys, and we'll get onto that next.